child actors frequently experience a fall from grace as they enter adulthood. Some will grow addicted to drugs and alcohol, although while this is a popular cliche, many child stars go on to become great actresses and artists. Many of today's most successful actors began their careers as children. Some began their film careers at a young age, while others rose to notoriety through television roles on networks such as Nickelodeon and the Disney Channel. Kenan Thompson made the transition from all that to Saturday Night Live. Hilary Duff, a Disney Channel staple, now has her own sitcom. Even Jason Baderman, the man who made Ozark and Arrested Development, the successful shows they are, started acting before he was 18. So here are some of the former child actors who are able to go on to have amazing careers. At number 10, Kiki Palmer. Palmer rose to fame when she was only a teenager for her appearance in Aquila and the Bee, soon after she was cast in her own Nickelodeon TV show, True Jackson VP. Palmer disliked the identity and persona that Nickelodeon had constructed for her. She is noted as saying that companies like Nickelodeon pigeonhole their stars to make them appear neater than they are. When you work with them, you're not only working on their show, but you're also working with their brand, so you become the identity that they want you to be. Palmer went on to remind that she dislikes the lack of authenticity this generates because ain't nobody that PG. At number 9, Ryan Gosling. As a young lad and a teenager, The Notebook's heartthrob and various television roles. When he enjoyed the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse as a musketeer, the Canadian actor established his career for good. Many of today's biggest stars, including Christina Aguilera, Justin Timberlake, and Britney Spears, are musketeer alumni as well. At number 8, Hilary Duff. Millennials may recall spending hours riveted to their screens watching Hilary Duff as Lizzie McGuire. The show was so popular that it spawned its own theatrical film, which is unusual for a Disney Channel show. True, several of them received feature-length films, but the majority were released as made-for-TV pictures rather than in theaters. Duff, who is now the star of How I Met Your Father, continues to do comedy even as an adult. Another famous face from Nickelodeon and the Disney Channel can also be found in her new show. At number 7, Josh Peck. Peck can be seen as one of the men interested in Hilary Duff's character in a couple of episodes of How I Met Your Father. Peck's career as a child actor was turbulent. While he was beloved by Nickelodeon viewers for his parts on Drake and Josh and The Amanda Show, he suffered greatly behind the scenes. Peck was not abused as a child, but he did have some major health issues. Peck had a weight problem before he was 18 years old and weighed 300 pounds. Some admirers were dismayed when the once chubby cheeky kid dropped down, but many were unaware of his weight problem severity. Peck is now perfectly healthy and in addition to his ongoing acting career, he is a bit of an online celebrity now too. At number 6, Kanan Thompson. As an adult, the star of All That and Later, Kanan and Kel continued their career in humor. His time on the set of All That provided him with an excellent foundation for continuing his work in sketch comedy, allowing him to seamlessly transition into his career as a performer on Saturday Night Live, where he has remained for nearly two decades. Kanan Thompson also returned to Nickelodeon in 2020, where he and all of the other All That alums revived the show, making cameo appearances here and there. At number 5, Elijah Wood. The actor who went on to play Frodo in The Lord of the Rings began his career at a young age. When he was only 7 years old, he had a little part in Black to the Future 2. Soon after, he appeared in numerous other films, including Avalon and Radio Flyer, all before the age of 10. Scarlett Johansson, who was only 9 years old in her debut film appearance, was one of Elijah Wood's young co-stars from the film North, who would later join him as a Hollywood star. At number 4, Will Wheaton. Wheaton played Wesley Crusher on Star Trek The Next Generation, and he was one of the show's most revived characters. For whatever reason, fans of the show did not appreciate the idea of Star Trek revolving around the story of some gifted child like Wesley. However, the character's unpopularity became something of a gimmick among Star Trek fans, and Wheaton is now a beloved and institutional part of the franchise, thanks in part to his current role as himself in The Big Bang Theory. Wheaton's performance in Stephen King's classic Stand By Me was also memorable. At number 3, Jason Bateman. Bateman had a long career as a kid actor. He appeared in Silver Spoons, Little House on the Prairie, and The Hogan Family, an NBC sitcom. His role on the later mentioned show earned him teen idol status, launching his career as a leading man and leading him to Arrested Development in 2003. 
Well guys, thank you so much for making it to the end of our video. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to Superstar 10s, and ring that notification bell so that you never miss a video. Thanks for watching!